Hey guys, I figured eventually I'll figure out how to flip that baby around. That was Felix you saw. <laughs> That's my kitty cat Felix. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Story and Promote uh, Periscope. This is your bi-weekly stop for story prompts, writing tips, book marketing, and resources. Today is Market Your Book Monday. Your place for book marketing tips and resources. In case you don't know who I am, hello, I'm Allie. I love beer, good I love good beer, animals, my son, and Harrison Ford. Not necessarily in that order. I'm an author and screenwriter who inspires authors to birth their story and get readers. How you doing? What a Monday. It's been an interesting Monday thus far, don't you think? Um, I'm hoping that uh, somebody shows up and I'm not sitting here all by myself because that's just sad. I shouldn't have to be here by myself on a Monday. Um, I just got in uh, from running around to the Y and stuff, so pardon my apparel, but uh, sometimes it, it, there's just not enough time to get home, change, uh, put something on my face like makeup, and uh, get going. So that's the neat thing about periscopes. So let's get going. Book marketing tip of the week. When you're a writer, you need to have a website. Now, the website, uh, you could have a page on one of your publisher's sites. You can have your author page on Amazon or on Barnes & Noble, but you really need your own website. And with your own website, you need a URL or uh, your website address, however you want to you call it. Uh, the URL should be no more... Um, God, I hate when I have like 50 things going through my head at once. Um, the URL should be broad enough, that's what I was trying to say, that you can fit more than one book underneath it. My website, AllieThies.com, I can fit under that umbrella of that website all my books. Um, I wrote one book called Out of Body Ecstasy. Now, I do have a website for that. It's called OutofBodyEcstasy.com. That site is fantastic for my Out of Body Ecstasy book. However, writing any of my Gypsy Magic books, any of my Dreamers, um or whatnot, uh, it, it just doesn't go. You know what I mean? It just uh, doesn't doesn't fit underneath. Now I know why there's nobody here. It just dawned on me. I didn't, I didn't go to promote to Facebook or Twitter or anything. So I'm sitting here by myself. Oh well, I will continue on because nobody knows I'm on. Um, okay, so more than one book can go out of it. Avoid, avoid using symbols, abbreviated word, or dashes. In your website address, use short URLs. People are lazy. They'll never remember, nor will they want to type a long URL. Make sure it has something to do with what you're writing. If you don't want to use your own name as a URL, which I recommend you actually use your name as your calling card, but if you want to write, say you write mysteries, um, you would want a URL something like um, the clues start here as opposed to uh, the dinosaur bit me in the rear which is long and has nothing to do with mysteries. So you want to keep it to something that you're working on, your umbrella. Um, pick a URL or web address that people can spell. <laughs> you don't have to explain. You know, if I had a web address, uh, well, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, it's wrong on all the categories. I would have to spell it. I would have to explain it because people would go, huh, you like, uh, what, Mary Poppins? Uh, and it's just too long, too long. So people don't want to think. And last but not least, make sure it's a .com. A .net will work, but anything else, a .co, a .me, a .tv, whatever the endless combinations we have now, 98% of the people, when they put a URL into Google, will put .com. So that's what you want, .com. If .com is not available, you can get .net. Now, if you don't know places uh, to get URLs, uh, although I am not a fan of the CEO uh, of GoDaddy, GoDaddy is a very easy way to get a URL. Now, there are other ones. There's plenty of places over there. I've been using GoDaddy for the last 20 years. No, last 15 years. And it's served me well. So that's the one I'm talking about. Now, the marketing resource. Uh, I want to talk about social media strategies. Now, Buffer. I like Buffer. Hello, Buffer. Uh, it's, 
it's consistently over the years been one of the best uh, sources of information on social media and it's also a fantastic tool for post scheduling um, they have a course it's a free course on buffer it's a 25 day email course for free and it's the nuts and bolts uh, on social media marketing which as an author you need they talk about share the same piece of uh, content multiple times which saves you time uh, add to your buffer in bulk it's always good to put things in buffer in bulk use current events to boast your Facebook post visibility a bonus save a cache of validated tweets and updates tweet to landing pages with specific asks find and engage with influencers in your area and create a four to one ratio of types of tweets or updates so social media strategies by buffer free 25 day course um i don't know how to put the url in this thing but it's buffer.com backslash email dash courses backslash actionable dash social dash media dash strategies oh and it's https dot backslash backslash and then buffer.com and then etc okay I'm sorry I missed everybody. I'm sorry I didn't um, put it out there that I was actually doing this and could talk to people live. I mean, that's why I do it on Periscope as well as the podcast. So I can talk to you guys. Bad me. <laughs> I'll remember it for writing your story on Wednesday. So thank you for joining me on Market Your Book Monday. Uh, join me on Wednesday for Write Your Story. Write Your Story Wednesday. If you prefer audio as opposed to looking at this mug and the shenanigans that go on around here, I also put this in the form of a podcast. It's on iTunes. The name of the podcast is called Story and Promote, and I have Marketing Mondays and Writing Wednesdays. Okay? And there we go. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't get to talk to anybody. Well... You guys have yourself an absolutely fabulous week, and I plan to do better on Wednesday. By the way, that's Simba back there, my Lion King. Um, plan to do better on Wednesday to let you guys know that I'm actually doing this. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye, guys.